Hi folks, this is Reb from Hunters and Farms. We got our Campbell woman, Pastor Minnie, here. So, we're in here with a, a litter of puppies from Zippy and Albert. Uh, they're coming up on four weeks. So Zippy is now resting outside the box until she needs to feed. Now in the future videos, we we're, we're going to put a lot of emphasis on safety and, and, and uh, preventative maintenance of, of hounds, puppies, and just the general living with uh, hounds or 100 pound dogs. We like people to pay close attention because we're going to we're going to show you videos from experienced breeders that have been doing this for years that are living in a home with many hundred pound dogs. So by watching these videos, everybody that owns two, some three of our Rhodesia Ridgebacks and other people out there in the world should be able to get an understanding of what you need to do to make your life fun and enjoyable with your with your hounds seeing as you have one maybe two three four dogs you're going to be looking at a breeding environment with many dogs inside the house so this is the starting of a new series of videos and we hope you uh subscribe below put on your notifications this is going to be a lot of really informative stuff on there we're not trying to sell you any products or any programs we're just trying to share our knowledge and experience with everybody. And that's from the pet owner to the breeder. So other breeders can get an understanding, especially you breeders that have just started, don't really know what's going on and are trying to breed puppies to get the puppy from your favorite old female you want to, she's getting old and you want to be sure you have a replacement. Well, there's a lot more to that. You want to be sure you understand that you're going to be sending this many puppies out into the world and then you, you're going to stop breeding and the people that own the puppies have nobody to call. That's kind of a rough thing. We have people still calling us today from many years ago. Today they're going to get wormed again. This is Panicure, Fendibenzol. People are using this for a, a cancer. I don't think this bottle is. There you go. Now, Safeguard is the cheaper brand. It's all from the benzol, but you got to be careful. I would recommend if you're going to warm yourself that you get it from your veterinarian. Your vet uh, should go easy on you on the price, but what the problem is, this has become a medicine that people are using for cancer, and there's a lot of... Uh, what would be politically correct here? Uh, fake products out there. So we start by removing Pastor Minnie's Bibles. And we're going to come over here to the scale and zero it out. You want 2.5 milligrams per 10 pounds. So we're on zero. Let's take us a healthy puppy. And so, oh, here she is. Ah, good morning. Hi, folks, out there in Face Land. My name is Good Morning. And, and and we're going to uh, we're, we're going to do a little worming today. So we're going to weigh us right now and, and see how much we weigh. So uh, Daddy will know how much uh, worm it to give us. There's Zippy. Guard her babies. You you can stand back. Okay. So we're weighing in uh, at the. Uh, 3.2. I'm surprised. I thought they'd weigh a little more than that. Let's grab you up. Let's get another one. All right. Uh, 4.6. So that's five. So we're going to use 1.1 mil. All right. So we're, we have the puppies in the box. And they don't have any collars or markings on them yet that we could identify them. So we're going to worm them and then we will uh, put 
place them in a basket. We use laundry baskets. We keep everything clean and sanitized. Pastor Minnie is in here 10 times a day, wiping off the puppies, keeping the puppies clean. So this is a three mil syringe. And you go a, a, a mil and a half. Thank you. Get your glasses on. And uh, that's 1.5. So go a little bit over, okay? Because you might spill. So we get down here. We'll cradle the baby. It's best to do this with two people, but we're going to do it with one. Put it in, in, in your lap so it's little butts here. And you want to try to get this as quick as possible. Oh, yeah. And that's just being a very good patient right here. Mm hmm It looks real easy, doesn't it, folks? Go back 10 years on some of our videos and, <laughs> and watch. <laughs> People where I mean our puppies. <laughs> they, they got more worm medicine on them than the dog has. The puppy. All this breeding and whatnot. It, it, it's like I answered a comment about somebody trying to breed their dogs. And they just put them together hoping for the best. And like I told them, this is an art. You have to know what you're doing. There's a lot involved. And always with a puppy, you want to be extremely gentle. That neonatal care we talked to you all about, touching its paws. Pastor Minnie's constantly doing the nails, wiping them. Very important. There's a guy on Facebook, Dr. Unbar. He talks about 1% of the breeders do this handling of the puppies and how important it is to make you a good family companion, how you're already building up that bond between human and puppy, even at this young age. So far, we have a bunch of good little patients here. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm Mama gonna get in on the action. You had yours at three o'clock this morning, sweetheart. I use a shot glass to put the uh, uh, our medicine in. Go Astros. Uh, uh. You could use your favorite shot glass. I don't think the puppy's mine. Now you're getting too involved. Come on. It was real easy till mom got a vote. <laughs> Get out of the worm medicine. Okay. So you, see, these are the fists back here. This is the fist of a dog. So you might want to hold the fist of the puppy while it's... So it does, don't drip down the side. Ugh. It's your choice. You could separate the mother or keep the mother involved. We like to keep our animals involved, like you saw the stuff. The grandpa, uh, her, 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 her daddy was in here cleaning the puppies the other day. Miss Hunterson Farms is a family organization. All of our pet owners are like family to us. They love us. They send us best wishes. They bring us Christmas dinners, Thanksgiving dinners, send gifts. They send toys for the, the puppies. A lot of the people that are waiting on a puppy send a toy for their puppy. Other people that have bought one or two puppies just send puppies for the new litter. They're as excited as a new litter as they were when they were waiting for their own puppy seven years ago or so. Five years ago, three years ago. Oh, oh. We got one fighting. We got one resisting here. And here we go. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Is that Apache? No. Okay. You want to wait a minute? Wait a minute. Okay. Never, never get rough with these guys. Be gentle, gentle, gentle. They will remember everything that happens during the eight weeks that the breeder has the puppy. 
I'm going to repeat that. During the eight weeks, the breeder is in possession of your future puppy for the next 12 years. Anything they do can upset the disposition of that dog for the rest of its life. Yep. That's why we wean pretty young, which means we have to start picking up poop and working really hard. But you wind up with a beautiful, loving puppy that when you come to pick it up, it acts like it already knows you because it's used to Pastor Minnie. Pastor Minnie becomes their mom. By the time they're six weeks old, they don't even look for their mama for food. They're looking for Pastor Minnie. Her expression is, wait for mommy, wait for mommy. <laughs> and if you'll watch the future videos, you'll hear the puppies crying and crying because they're hungry. And you'll hear Pastor Minnie in the background saying, wait for mommy, and it gets quiet as a mouse. Mm -hmm. At this age, they actually Know what's going on, folks. If you're watching the videos at two days old, they were learning to stick their nose through these holes in, in the basket so they can come out and eat. At two days old. Mm -hmm. Right when uh, Dr. Zhu of the Family Animal Hospital of Friendswood came out to do her initial exam at two days old. Our puppies are looked at by the veterinarian on site. We're not dragging them off to the veterinarian. She's actually coming out here. She's kind enough to come out and visit the pups and examine them at two days old. And then she'll come back again at eight weeks and do a follow-up examination. Uh-oh. This is a purr right here. The purr is like a cat. You. So, so far, nine out of ten of them have been very cooperative. That's the one that came out five hours later. The one that held up the fort. <laughs> the veteran. The veteran? Yeah. yeah they, they were born on Veterans Day. Yes, yeah, a V. This year, we had puppies on Valentine's Day, Independence Day, and Veterans Day. You see why I put a little extra in there, folks? Now, if you're not that experienced, you're going to have this stuff all over you. And don't worry about that. It all comes with experience. For you breeders out there, don't worry about that. All you new breeders, what you worry about is being gentle and kind and loving to your your mama, your other dogs in your, in your pack, and completely change the environment from every day to... Breeding, whelping, lactating. Now this one is the one that gave me trouble. It's in here growling and barking. And who are you? You want know, me to the right? Mm -hmm. I'm me to the right. Uh, and here he goes again. He's gonna fight me. <laughs> but you see the way I put him up? And now I'm coming again? So instead of uh, forcing him, just put them up. Same thing. We're finishing the dog park in the back. And you're going to start seeing a lot of training videos. You're going to notice our training videos are the same thing. The dog doesn't feel like working one day. We put them up. We don't train them. Leave them alone. Training has to be fun, enjoyable for both the, the, the master and the pet. This is worming care and maintenance of your puppies from Rhodesian Ridgebacks at Hunterson Farms on Facebook. Huntersonfarms.com is our website. We're also Google Live. And we're in other places we don't even know about because we don't know much about the social media. Please bear with us on the YouTube. We're getting better every day. We're going to learn how to do fancy stuff like everybody else. We'd love you to follow us, subscribe below, turn on your notifications, because I guarantee we are going to show you things no one else has showed you. It's not as complicated as people are making it to try to make a buck. We're not trying to make a buck. We're just looking forward 
to sharing our experience and our knowledge on how to handle Ridgebacks. We board puppies that were born here. They have an acre to play in, soon to be a playground with luring. We're gonna have monthly events where everybody can bring their Rhodesian Ridgebacks. Everybody will be welcome and they get to come and play. And from Hunters and Farms, we wish you happy holidays. Yeah. Yeah.